Hey everyone, Teacher Chang here, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how do we set up a module in Canvas. So what we have in front of us is basically my home page. And if you scroll down, you're going to go ahead and see a bunch of buttons here. And if you don't know how to create a button, you can go ahead and check out one of my other videos. But these buttons are in place so that when I click on one of these pictures, it's going to take me to that particular module. So for instance, if I click on uh, Unit 8, it's going to bring me directly to Unit 8 uh, instead of going to the modules and scrolling all the way down. Now, um, as you can see, all of these modules are empty. We're going to go ahead and put in a few things in Unit 1. Now, when we do that, you want to make sure that you kind of organize your thoughts ahead of time. So what I did is I kind of came up with a plan as to what I want to put in there. So in my particular module, I have created or what I want to put in is an objective page. I want to put in a warm up discussion, uh, a lesson uh, page, and also a little quiz, which I'm going to use as an exit ticket. And I'm probably going to repeat this for the next lesson uh, within the same module. So you can put in several lessons inside the same module, uh, especially since I went ahead and labeled these as units. So I'm going to go back to our page here and when we go back to our page you want to make sure that you've already created everything that you planned out. So for instance uh, if I go over to my pages and I take a look at all of my pages I have already created ahead of time uh, a lesson page, an objective page, I also have a warm-up page but I've also created a warm-up discussion as well. So these are all just templates for my classes that I'm going to be using. So here's a warm-up discussion uh, and then I also have a little quiz that I just kind of made up really quickly right over here. So all of these things that you want in your module, you want to create ahead of time. Um, you could always add into your module uh, at a later point in time if you like as well. So once you've created all of your pages, your assignments, your quizzes, we can go back to our module here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here to go ahead and add things in. So the first thing that I want, since I want it in sequential order, is I want to go ahead and have my students go to the objective page. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu, select page, and then you go ahead and select the items that you want. Now, eventually I do want to put in the lesson template as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in as well. And I'm going to add both of these two items. Now, when I add these two items, I have it right over here and it's not in the right order that I want. So you could always move it around by dragging it around to put it in the correct order. All right, after my objectives, I also want to add in a discussion. So I'm going to go over to my discussion and then I'm going to choose that warm up discussion that I wanted. I'm going to add this item. And again, I'm going to move that to the second spot over here because I want to start off with my objective, then my warm up, and then my lesson. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the quiz. I'm going to click on the plus sign, select the drop down menu, and then go ahead and choose a quiz. And uh, I'll click on here and I choose the only quiz that I've created. I'm going to add this item and that's brought down over here. Now, because I am going to be adding in uh, lesson two within the same unit, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and indent some of these. So uh, you can indent them up to three times. I'm going to leave the first one alone. And then I'm going to go ahead and indent this one by clicking on the three dots and then in increase the indent. So I'm going to increase that by one step. I'm going to go ahead and increase this by two steps. And I'm going to increase this one by three steps. Okay, so that way uh, they could, my students can see that this is all within one lesson. So this is all lesson one. And then lesson two, I'm going to bring it right back to uh, the beginning and just kind of have this step down ladder like I have over here. Okay, so once I've set this up, we can go ahead and go back. But uh, before you go ahead and have your students check it out, make sure that all of these are published. Now, if you go ahead and just click on this one right over here, it's going to publish everything automatically. So if I go back to our student view, you can kind of see what the students can see. So I'm going to click on student view over here and we can go ahead and see that uh, a lot of the things are hidden because I don't want my students to see that. But if I go ahead and scroll down and click on unit one or you can click on module because it's the first unit, you can see what the students see. Now, these are these are the items that I placed within the module. but 
our kids could go ahead and click on the quiz and just start the quiz without even doing the lesson. So that's something you want to avoid. In order to avoid that, what you want to do is set up some prerequisites. So I'm going to leave the student view and I'm going to go over to our module and I'm going to put in some requirements. Now to put in the requirements, what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three dots over here on the right and we're going to edit the module. So if I edit the module, you can lock your module until a particular date if you like. So you can choose a date or if you want your students to work on their own pace, you can just leave it unlocked. Uh, but if again, you can lock it if you like. We're going to go ahead and add a requirement. And when we add these requirements, uh, make sure that you check off students must complete all of these requirements and students must move through their requirements in sequential order. Uh, so that's typically what most people want. Now, the first thing that I want is my objective. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the objective page. And then the only thing that I want them to do is to view the item. Now you can have them go ahead and manually click that it has been read and done or you can have them contribute to the page or submit an assignment etc uh, depending on what you have so I'm just going to have them view the item and then I'm going to go ahead and add another requirement so after they uh, take a look at the objective page they're going to go ahead and take a look at the warm-up so I'm going to go over to the warm-up that's the second item I want them to do and in the warm-up I want them to contribute to the page because it's a discussion so I'm going to go ahead and have them contribute to the page then I'm going to have them take a look at the actual lesson so I'll click on the lesson and all again all I want them to do is to view the item so that's what's checked off and then the last item that I want is for them to take the quiz. And if you want, you can have them score a certain amount in order to move on to the next module or to the next uh, page. Um, but I, I'm just going to have them submit the assignment. Again, you could go ahead and uh, score, uh, have them score at least a certain amount, like 5 out of 10 before they can move on. All right, so I went ahead, I'm going to go ahead and update this. And when I update this and I go back to our student view, so if I go back to the student view here, you're going to see something that is a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the student view. I'm going to go to my module, Unit 1. And now you see these are all grayed out. So if you click on these, nothing's going to happen. So it, the, they're locked until they've completed the item beforehand. So the first thing that they have to do is to go to the objective page. And within the objective page, we stated that the only requirement is to view it. So they viewed it here, and now they can move on to the next page. So they click on next, and now they have the discussion question. So they do the discussion, and they have to... Uh, uh, comment on this discussion in order to move on. So let's say they didn't and they went ahead and selected next. They're going to see this right over here and this is basically telling them that this part of the module is not unlocked because they did not contribute to the page. So it says right here the warm-up discussion must contribute to the page. So we're going to go back to that warm-up discussion by clicking here or clicking on previous. So I'm going to go back to the warm-up page and they have to contribute so uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on reply and then I'm going to contribute something so I'm just going to type in some uh, random things here and we're just going to go ahead and post the reply so they have to post the reply and if they don't post a reply they haven't contributed then I'm going to go ahead and click on next and now I can go ahead and see the actual lesson page. This is where I would go ahead and put in a video and they can watch the lesson. Uh, I would recommend that you put in a capture sheet. Uh, so uh, here I'm going to go ahead and link a capture sheet over here where they could go ahead and download a PDF file or a Word document and then they could go ahead and take their notes within the capture sheet uh, as they're watching the video. Okay, so this part, they only had to view the lesson. And after they viewed the lesson, they could go on to the next portion, which is to take the quiz. And they go ahead and take the quiz. Um, so if I click on take the quiz, they'll be able to take a look at the instructions. They'll be able to uh, go ahead and answer the question. Obviously, I didn't create uh, the quiz fully, uh, but they do need to respond to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in some things here. So this is an essay question that I've created. And obviously, within quizzes, you have other choices, such as multiple choice, etc. You submit the quiz, and then they should be able to see their score. Now, this one uh, is not scored yet because the teacher has to go ahead and take a look at the essay and then go ahead and assign them with some kind of a score. 
All right, so in the meantime, it's going to say zero out of zero until the, uh, the teacher goes ahead and grades it in SpeedGrader, um, and you can enter in a score. Okay, so that's basically your modules and how to set it up. And again, uh, if you need to lock, if you want to go ahead and lock the modules, you can uh, so that they cannot move on until that date. I hope this helped out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the space provided uh, below, and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. And um, if again, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Again, good luck. Enjoy and have fun.